Hey guys, it's Megan. In today's video, I'll be showing you three easy ways to make a friendship bracelet. All of these bracelets can be made in less than 30 minutes, and I made them adjustable so that I could take them off easily. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. For this project, you'll need embroidery floss. I got a big pack of it for $5 at Walmart. You'll also need a clipboard, and or tape, and some scissors. If you want to add words to your bracelet, you'll need letter beads. I got these on Amazon, and they'll be linked in the description. You'll also need a needle to make threading the beads on a little bit easier. The first bracelet is the easiest, and it's my favorite one to make. Cut two pieces of thread that are both 48 inches long. Fold both pieces in half, and tie a double knot right under the fold. So now you should have four strings to work with. Start by separating the thread into three sections. As you can see here, I grouped the two dark pink threads together and kept the light pink threads separate to create three sections. Start your bracelet by making a one to two inch braid. This is how I start all of my bracelets because I like to make them adjustable. When your braid is done, tie a knot at the end. Now we're ready to start the bracelet. Separate the threads into two sections. So on my bracelet, I grouped both light pink and both dark pink threads together. Starting on the left, bring your thread over the right thread, back under the right thread, and through the loop. Adjust your knot and move it to the top of the bracelet. Next, we're going to do the same thing, but with the right thread. Bring the right thread over the left, back under it, and then through the loop. Repeat this pattern for the whole bracelet. So again, starting with the left thread, bring it over the right, back under the right, and through the loop. Then, bring your right thread over your left thread, back under the left thread, and through the loop. You can do this for the whole bracelet, or you can stop slightly before the middle of the bracelet and add beads. To add beads, separate the four threads so that there are two in the middle. Attach the middle threads to a needle, and slip on your beads one at a time. In between each bead, make a knot with each extra string. So take the right string, bring it under the two middle strings, over the middle strings, and through the loop. Same thing with the extra left string. Bring it under the middle strings, back over the middle strings, and through the loop. Slip on your next bead and do this again taking the right thread under, over, and through, and then the left, under, over, and through. Repeat this until all of your beads are on the bracelet. When all of the beads are on, separate the thread back into its original color groups and continue the bracelet like we did at the beginning. So again, bring the right thread over, under, and through the loop, and bring the left thread over, under, and through the loop until your bracelet is long enough. When it is, tie a knot at the end and make another 1-2 to two inch braid, and secure the end with a double knot. Cut off any excess thread, and here's what your bracelet should look like so far. Now we can make the adjustable closure. Take your bracelet and fold it so that the two braided ends overlap. I like to add tape above and below the braid to make the next part a little bit easier. Cut a piece of thread that is 6-8 to eight inches and slide it underneath the braids, stopping it about the middle. Take the left thread and cross it over the braids, making a number four. Bring the right thread down over the left and take it underneath the braids. Pull the end up through the center of the four, and now you have your first square knot. Next, take the right thread over the braids, making a backwards four. Bring the left thread down over the right thread and underneath the braids, and then up through the center of the backwards four. Repeat this a few times, alternating between using the left and right thread first each time. You don't need to make this very long, I usually make mine about five or six knots. When your closure is long enough, take the two threads and tie them together a few times. I like to do about three or four knots to make it extra secure. Cut off any excess thread, and then your bracelet is ready to wear. Pull the ends of the bracelet to make it tighter, 
and pull the main part of the bracelet to make it looser. I accidentally made this bracelet a little bit too big. Remember that the closure adds a little bit of length so that you can make the main part of your bracelet a little bit shorter than you think that you'll need it. I ended up making another smaller bracelet that fit a lot better. For the next bracelet, you'll need three strands of thread, one that is 24 inches long and two that are 36 inches long. Start your bracelet the same way that we did before, tying a double knot at the top and making a 1 to 2 inch braid. Tie a knot at the end of the braid and separate the strings, putting the shorter one in the middle. If you want, you can put a piece of tape at the bottom of the middle string to make it easier to make your bracelet. This will be your base thread. Starting with the right working thread, bring it under the base thread and then back over the base thread and through the loop. Pull the thread up to the top and secure it fairly tightly. Now move on to the left side. Bring the thread under your base thread, then back over it and through the loop. Repeat this process, alternating between the right and left working threads each time. So again, bring your working thread under the base, back over the base, and through the loop. You can repeat this alternating pattern until you have a full bracelet, or you can stop at the middle and add beads. To add beads, thread the middle string through a needle and slip on your beads one at a time. Make two knots with your working thread the same way that we did before between each bead, going under the base, back over it, and through the loop. When you've attached all of your letter beads, continue making knots the same way until the base of the bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist. Tie a knot at the end and braid the loose threads like we did before. Make a closure using square knots, again the same way that we did earlier. And here's what the finished bracelet looked like. The last bracelet that I made is great for multiple word phrases. Start with four strands of thread that are each about 36 inches long. For this bracelet, I used two strands of white and two strands of black, but you can obviously use any colors that you want. Start by tying the four strands together with a double knot. Start your bracelet the same way that we did before, by dividing the thread into three sections and doing a simple 1-2 to two inch braid. Finish off the braid by tying a simple knot. To make the bracelet, separate one strand of thread from the rest of them. Lay this thread over the group of threads so that it looks like the number 4. Bring the end of your thread under the group of threads and then up through the center of the number 4 that you made. Pull the thread and adjust it so that it sits at the top of your bracelet. Repeat this until you want to move on to another color. So again, make a 4 with your working thread, take it under your base threads, and up through the center of the number 4. Bring the knot up to the top and then keep going. When you want to move on to the next color, separate the color that you want from the base group and move the color you were using before over to the base group. Now that you have a new color selected, do the exact same knot that we did before, making a number 4 with your thread, going under the base group and up through the center. You can keep going like this until your bracelet is long enough, but if you want to add beads, you should stop when the bracelet can go around your wrist a little less than halfway. Pick out the beads that you want to put on your bracelet. You should probably do this before you start making it so that you know how long the words are. This method is good for short two or three word phrases. Start by tying a knot at the end of the bracelet that you've made so far. Separate the strings into two sections so that you have two threads in each section. Starting with your longer word or words, thread two strings through a needle and slip your beads on. If you want to separate the beads so that it looks like two words, take one of your strings and tie a few knots the same way that we did before making a 4 with your working thread, bringing it under the base and up through. Then, reattach the needle and thread on the rest of the beads. I tied a knot at the end of the second word to hold it in place. For the second, shorter word, place the beads next to the bracelet to get an idea of how many knots you'll need to make. Make a few knots and thread on the beads like we did before. Make a few knots after the word 
and then bring all of the thread together again and tie a knot. Finish the bracelet by doing the same process that we did before. When the main part of the bracelet is long enough to fit around your wrist, tie a knot at the end and use the remaining loose threads to make another 1 or 2 inch braid. Tie a double knot at the end and cut off any excess thread. Here's what your bracelet should look like when you're done. Make a closure for your bracelet using square knots just like we did before. So here's how the finished bracelet turned out. I really like having two levels of words since it's a little bit different from the letter bracelets that you normally see. I also made a clueless inspired bracelet using yellow, black, and white thread. Here's one last look at all of the friendship bracelets that I made. Let me know which style is your favorite. So here are today's shoutouts. If you want a shoutout in my next video, leave me a comment letting me know what words you'd put on your friendship bracelets. So thank you guys so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and as always, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, it is at WellerMegs. And yeah, I love you guys so so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!